Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. I am in the middle of a Distin D8 panel saw restoration. As you can see, I've cleaned up all of the hardware right there and also cleaned up the blade and sharpened it. I've even taken it for a little bit of a test run just to see how well it cut and it was amazing. I love when a saw is freshly sharp. One thing that I'm not happy about with this saw though is that one of the horns on the handle is broken apart. But if you know anything about the saws or really researched saws, the Distin D8 saw is a little bit different than normal hand saws. So right here I have two saws side by side. This is a Simmons hand saw and as you can see it has a slot right here for where the uh, blade goes. And on a Distin D8 they started manufacturing them without that slot to give the blade a lot more rigidity and instead of having a saw get wore out where the hardware is and then your handle rocks back and forth in your saw blade holes. This actually helps because it gives the blade somewhere to back against. So what I want to try to do with this is not create a new one because I don't have a table saw or I cannot think of a good way to cut a slot for the blade without actually cutting the slot on the top and I just don't want to do that. I want to keep it as original as possible. So what I want to try to do is just fix this horn and create a new little tip. So let's go ahead and try to see how well this turns out. So the first thing that I need to do, just like any other handsaw, is I need to get all the hardware back off. So here is my piece of maple that I'm going to be using. I'm just planning on using a small strip just to kind of cover over this little slot area. So what I'm going to do is just make a mark if I had a pencil. So I don't want to use this section right here. It looks like it has some cracking in it. So I'm going to go just a little bit further about here and right there. So, so what I want to do now is just make some straight-ish lines just so I know what I have to cut out for the horn replacement. So I'm going to take a handsaw and just cut out this little section. Now what I've got planned is that I'm going to place this on top of here, try to get the grain kind of straight with it. I'm just going to kind of follow the pattern that is already there. So now when I go to cut this, I'll still have the end of the the shape of it so I know exactly where to go. So now I can go ahead and put this back on here and get exactly where I need to cut that at. All right, so as you can see, I have two different pieces here. This one was the first one I cut out and it was a little bit small for the width right here. This one I made a little bit bigger. And as you can tell, this is not a perfect shape. And the reason why it doesn't really matter is because you're gonna be shaping it with a rasp files, stuff like that anyway, to get the final shape. So all we have to do is get it lined up with what's already on there and then we'll be able to take down the edges and blend it into the actual handle. So the next thing to do is just to get some glue and make sure this area is clean, this area is clean, and glue these two pieces together. So we are done with the drying process of the glue and as you can see right here we've got some sticking out right here or some of the wood is just a squared edge right here the shape on the top isn't very nice 
and you can see we have a little bit of burning on the edges from where I have a dull bandsaw blade. So now the other part of this is trying to get this all to blend in with the handle. So the blending in process is fairly simple. All it takes is a couple of uh, rasps. I got this one right here with the round and a flat side. And I also have a file. Ah, right here. <laughs> I have a file that is also round and flat and the reason why you want a round and flat side is one for the flat you can shape over the top of the horn right here and then when you want to do your round you have to have your round piece of file for this little corner right here to blend in to this curve. Now the rasp it takes away a lot of material very quick. And then I usually do my cleanup with the smoother file and then I start working with some kind of sandpaper. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and I don't have to have any kind of special clamp for this. I can just hang this over the end of the workbench to really actually just start doing this. So like I said, I'm just going to start with the rasp and I'm just going to take some light passes because the rasp, it doesn't work. Ugh very very good on squared up corners you gotta kind of ease into it and there we go so once you start knocking off the edges it starts going over fairly well So I've got a pretty good surface right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the smooth file and start working with that. So here we are, here is the finished hand, well not all, it's almost finished. I've gotten the horn all completely shaped. As you guys can see, I really like the way that shape is. It's got a nice sweeping curve right here, and I think it matches the profile very good right through here. The transition between the two pieces of wood is really nice. And as I was saying earlier, the split on the top that isn't there is the main reason why I wanted to keep this saw handle. There is no cracks anywhere else on this the handle is in very good shape that's really really why i wanted to save the handle and repair it instead of replacing it so remember what i did i cut it first then cut out this piece after i got it designed on another piece of wood and then i just glued them together i let them sit for about 24 hours and then i started shaping it and i really am happy with it As you guys can see there is the shape of it so I think that this curve is really good. It's probably really close to the original curve of what it was. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, get a clear finish on there. All right, so what we got here is some Watco rejuvenating oil that I'm going to be applying on here. And we're just going to let it do its thing, soak into the wood. Kind of spread it around here. This is soaking into the wood really. Get it on that new piece. And I'll just let it sit here for a little bit. Let it let it do its thing and then we'll wipe it back off. And here is the final product of this restore instead of just trashing this handle. We'll try to get in on. You guys can kind of see the etch in there for the D8. 
it is missing two teeth right here but they're so far back that i'm not really worried about it i talked to a couple people i will just keep on filing it down until they reappear over time of using it but i am extremely happy with how the handle turned out i really like the shape of it and i really like the clear coat being on there so that's what you guys can do instead of just trashing away a handle that has a broken horn or something like that you guys can go ahead and now repair them instead of trash so let me know what you guys think would you guys have saved this handle or would you guys have just trashed it and started over me I chose to repair it and I think it looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think. I also went ahead with an oil finish and then went ahead with a clear coat over top of that. Let me know you, what you guys use for your finishes on hand saws. I'm really interested in different ways of refinishing things. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that thumbs up button. Share it around on all social media. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Here is one last look of the saw. See you guys on the next video.